you understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlock the secret of interstellar travel. At the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Every grab drive in the settled systems was built on technology that came from an artifact that was discovered on Mars. But these early drives shook the gravity field surrounding Earth. Eventually, the atmosphere started to slowly sputter away into space. That's why Earth is uninhabitable. The artifact gave the scientists a greater understanding of time and space, but not the wisdom to see where that would lead. The settled systems wouldn't exist without the artifacts, in other words. We owe what happened here in NASA a great debt. You'd dismiss the loss of our home world, our culture, our history, just... understand now why I asked you to come here. The artifacts unlock the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Don't be a fool. The Emissary and I may have our differences, but you do not want to give us a common enemy. For once, he's right. Don't do can collect the final pieces together. Well, look at that. The Emissary just became my new best friend. You've made your choice. When you're ready, the Hunter and I will be at the Buried Temple. That's where we'll settle things. Meaning, we'll kill you. But hey, at least we'll wait till you get there. Everyone deserves a shot at the final artifact.
settled this. You had your chance to pick a side. Now go walking back from your lone wolf strategy now. A fight in the heavens themselves. What more could we ask for?
weapons or ammo.
since I traveled with Vladimir's soul. jobs. Client is on his way.
have visitors! Vardek, you didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome! What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. Now, how am I supposed to take a strange comment like that? Is this some kind of... Some kind of... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! There's a real case for that guard! <laughs> Come on, Rock. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. This ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? What are you then? Some lost soul? No salvation here. Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but okay. I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side. I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend.
What's happening, darling? Dropping off a few choice items? You support all of my dreams and aspirations. Who could ask for anything more? If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. I just wanted to see if you could surprise me. You're failing. <laughs> I'll live and let live. Is that right? Well, I don't know about either of you, but... 
It's been a while since I felt this old. Perhaps it's time to put this all to an end. Uh, at least this once. Here, take the artifacts before I come to my senses. be assembled, and the Starborn are sure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Panny, I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. That's not what I mean, but I love you. Too. Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. We both know that one of us is going to let Curiosity win out, eventually. It's who we are. But I wouldn't mind pretending one universe is enough. For a little while, at least. Wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about Parallel Universe Theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? You're right. We shouldn't assume that just because they're the second us we see, that they somehow didn't exist before. Look. Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel... kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. As the... Oh my god! I'm literally following back to work then! Something you might be interested in.
Any troubles you need to share? Fishing for a handout, eh? <laughs> See you soon, love. Walter spends a fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. A moment, Captain. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. I am told that is the best way to deliver potentially upsetting news. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. Tip your ear for a moment? Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Ah, uh, I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Tell you the secret wise of a retired fleet member. There's a way things end. Have to see that before time and luck catches up. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Do you have a second, friend? I've thought about it, and... As much as I would love to see the unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm... not coming with you. I know I should be excited, but I can't stop thinking about the fact that the Keeper knew about the Unity but chose to keep it hidden. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. My dad pushing objects around with gravity powers? Now that would be something to see. Take care of yourself, okay? In the next universe. I'm gonna miss these chats of ours. Nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, 
who? You see, that's a bad lesson to teach. Time is money, and an interest on a loan is the incentive to remember that. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. If you want, what did you want to talk about? Come back soon. I like talking to my friends. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. I'll be okay, really. I'll have a lifetime's worth of research to share with the whole settled systems when the time is right. That's the side of Constellation I fell in love with. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. to be back on board. Hi! Heck of a thing we pulled off. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Why not see each other on the other side? So am I. Hey, listen, uh, you're probably wondering about Korra. I played it over in my head a thousand times and I've made up my mind. She's coming with. I know what everyone's gonna say, but even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind, we'd both regret it. <laughs> Glad to know you still got that sense of humor of yours. Okay. Let's get it, huh? The unknown is right over the next bend. Our journey seems to be coming to an end. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know. Now you're not pestering a captain. Can lead to a better place. Pester? You think I'm a pest? Oh, never. I do not Fortress know if I would say the same. Being nice to More you. that I accept it. So this book collection I'm ready. Do you think we don't will see each other after the rumors? unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do?
Oh, that was already my plan. If we do not see each other again, then goodbye. I am proud of all that we have accomplished. Whatever you need, you got it. Ask whatever you'd like. Absolutely. Sona is clever, and she's proven that she can tackle anything life throws in her path. You can rest assured that she will get the best education and care that Constellation can possibly provide. You know, Sona and I share an interesting bond. We both survived on that inhospitable world, and it drastically altered our lives. Most importantly, though, I'm certain we're both stronger after the experience. Very well. Next time, then. Don't stay away too long. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. The infinite only exists. Judging it makes no difference. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. 
For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time, Sarah Morgan eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom. More children are born who want to be explorers. Your work with UC Sistef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer.
about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the Unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. came back. I thought... I, I was sure you were going to... But then I guess... Neither did I. <laughs> oh, you're just too much, you know that? What was it like, being in the Unity? It was... not what I was expecting. Everything stretched out before me, and yet, I was just talking to one person, who knew everything about me. Haha! <laughs> yes, you are. I'm glad to see you again, but don't stay here forever, okay? Don't give up on the opportunity to step into a whole other universe. Yes, you will. We both will. It's who we are. But until then, let's get back out there, shall we? Though I normally a devotee of science, I have to admit that in this case, it failed us terribly. And the cost was immeasurable. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifacts forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Emissary, you claim that you'll keep the artifacts safe from those who would abuse it. But absolute power corrupts absolutely. Honestly, I don't believe either of you are immune to their allure. Join me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh no, you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? You're from another universe. Don't try to manipulate him. Okay. I couldn't win you over on philosophy. How about pragmatism? I'm more powerful than the Emissary. Than any other Starborn. And you might not understand why, but I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. The 
Though I still think this might be a mistake. Siding with the emissary is certainly the lesser of two evils. Thank you. Well, can't say I didn't try. We'll settle this at the usual place. The Mary Temple. We'll be there. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. Stay for a moment. You must have questions about what happens next. I'll meet you in orbit above the buried temple. We'll face what's there together. There is a temple for every artifact. You should find as many as you can. You'll need their power. He and I made a number of agreements over the years. If you can even call them years at this point. We let him go. An exchange, he'll wait at the buried temple. You'll be able to prepare any way you can before then. There's always a final artifact in a specific temple. The hunter and I agreed that whoever you sided with, the other would wait there. Expect anything and everything. Other starborn, human mercenaries and defenses, alien creatures under mind control. It's all fair game. but we should certainly take a look around. Hello, old friend. The hunter will be below with the final artifact. His allies will be throwing everything they have at us. Some enterprising starborn lured human mercenaries here. They built this facility. Another layer to get past before we can reach the temple. Expect more starborn along the way. See that anomaly? The temple's artifact is reacting to all the fighting. Might be the only way through. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there? We'll come get you. Why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't we... Would you shut up? You alright? That was a shift in space-time dip into the multiverse. We'll have to go through a few more to reach the center. Something much like yours, I suspect. A beginning, a regret, or a surprise. All right, keep yourself steady.
And thus ends the hunter's time in our universe. Good rings. What an absolutely horrid entity. If you're searching them, make it quick. of staring at it. Eternity. Everyone says that when they hear themselves for the first time. But no, you don't sound like this. At least, not this you. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? That's good. 
You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Your lover, Sarah Morgan, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom. More children are born who want to be. Explorers. Your work with UC Sysdef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safe. them to seek out those they believe are worthy of finding the unity. Many noble starborn will be reborn under their guidance. The constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity.
Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for home out there in the stars. You'd dismiss the loss of our home world, our culture, our history, just like that. <sighs> What's happened to you? Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. No, the Hunter is wrong. They should be possessed by whomever would use them for the greater good and be immune to their temptation. Finally, common sense. Don't do this. Even if you agree with the Hunter's methods, he's only looking out for himself. Oh, I think we all know that. But I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. Idiot! How could you possibly think the Hunter is your best option? I... I feel almost as though I don't know you anymore. Yes, I also like picking winners. Fine. You two have made your choice. The usual place? The Buried Temple. Oh yes, we'll be there. I'm sorry it's come to this. You and I have better have a chat. Talk through the next steps. I will do favor I want to ask you to. If I were you, I'd find as many of the temples as I could. 
You'll need all the power you can get. Keeper Aquilus. My illustrious counterpart. He's a loose end that needs tying. Now you have regrets about your choice. Oh, you've placed yourself in this ridiculous situation. I'll defend you, but I don't have to like it. On the contrary, it cements my trust in you. Sorry to be pushy in the beginning of our partnership, but I insist. Let me take in this moment. It's not every day you get to send an assassin after yourself. <laughs> Good luck. Hello. Oh, my day just got Again. a whole lot. Don't stay away too long. <laughs> Let's go find the emissary, shall we? I'm sure we'll meet plenty of their friends along the way. sure who thought of it first, but getting those ecliptic mercs to build a little fortress on top of a temple was pretty inspired. Of course, we'll still need to kill a few starborn to... Find anything useful? jobs. Client is on his way. You're not the 
universes fall under the shadow of this search. Let's end this. Fortunately, the multiverse is full of them. After a while, you won't get so attached. Here. You've earned these. Once all the artifacts are together, the way to the Unity will open. Then, you and I will be walking into the infinite. I'll be making myself at home on your ship from here on out. I want to make sure I'm nearby for the big moment. You really don't get it, do you? It's everywhere, it's nowhere. You think about it too long, your head's going to explode. All that matters is that the armillary is your ticket to it. Save the rest for those hypocrites who want it to be something it's not. That's not exactly how this whole process works. Let's just get to the Unity. 
You'll understand after you've been through it a few times. Well, that depends on your perspective, honestly. Uh, but if you're attached to the versions of the people you know from this universe, then uh, a little goodbye chat might be in order. Oh, I'd rather not say. It's a um, personal experience. Best to just see it for yourself. The armillary just needs to be completed in your ship. Then, once your grav drive gets a little power, the two will react, and you'll be there. The armillary just needs to be completed in your ship. Then, once your grav drive gets a little power, the two will react, and you'll be there. Any troubles you need to share? Ah, oh, I miss talking to you already. get tired of staring at it. Eternity. The infinite only exists. Judging it makes no difference. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place, the unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe. While another part leaves it behind. Forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. 
go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time, reborn once again. His ethic of expediency and individual will spreads throughout the universe he leaves behind. Many will find the courage to rise and seize power from those who have it, for good or ill. Sarah Morgan eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom. More children are born who want to be explorers. UC's death against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. Search for hope out there in the stars. <laughs>